Good morning, people. Watch them on 65, Lisa Voice. I'm going to give you the latest of what's going on. I just got back from dropping Zach off <clears throat> to school. And as a result, I was in a downpour. It's pouring out here right now. It's stopped now, but it was pouring when I left. First, I'm going to give you the Gospels in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Whosoever believe. Now how do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. Uh, the moment you put your faith and trust in him and accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you're justified by the blood of Jesus, uh, sealed until the day of redemption, which means you will never lose your salvation and your rapture ready. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend, and the Holy Spirit will change you. Hold on a minute. Okay. Um, the latest is that... I got a lot of news. Um, let me give you this off of um, RT, or not RT, uh, War News 24-7. So what War News is saying this morning is that Putin did his speech. And... Um, Let me see. Hold on a minute. Yeah, he did his speech. And that, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> when I say this, and I don't say it lightly, um, someone just signed their death warrant. For real. So what's happening right now is Putin announced a short time ago he's going to do a was called a partial mobilization in Russia, completely confirming what War News 24-7 has been writing for months. So conscription had been an immediate Russian plan for four months after the tragic mistakes made in the initial planning of the Russian operation. So clarifying Putin's announcement, Russia's Defense Minister Sergei Shugo, hold on a minute, sorry about that. I have my timer on. Uh, Sergei Shugo said that the recruitment concerns only those who have previous military experience, referring to a number of approximately 300,000 reservists. If that's a partial mobilization, I hate to see a full mobilization because that's a lot of reservists that he's calling up right now. As he noted, partial conscription does not concern conscripts of students of military academies. So, um, according to reports, the governors of all Russian regions have been instructed to ensure the call for mobilization in the amount and within the time frame specified by the Russian Ministry of Defense right now. At the same time, in his speech, <clears throat> he made a clear allusion to use nuclear weapons as War News 24-7 noted yesterday. The special military operation is coming to an end. Now any attack by the Ukrainians against Russian territory can be repelled by the use of tactical nuclear weapons. Now, Donetsk, Lugansk, and the other two regions that have decided to go ahead with Russia, they were smart. Because now, when this referendum, I, I don't know when it's supposed to be voted on, I'm sure they're going to vote it through, that those regions be part of Russia, and Russia now has the, those regions. 
That's it. Now they're you now they're Russian territory. The West has crossed all lines. It goes on to say people in historic uh Novorossiya uh, do not want to live under a neo uh, regime. It is a territorial it's if its territorial integrity is threatened, Russia will use all means at its disposal. This is not a bluff. And he stressed this in his speech yesterday. I emphasize that this is a partial mo mobilization. Only those in reserve will be drafted, the Russian president clarified. Partial recruitment will begin today, he clarified. I will emphasize that Russian citizens called up as part of the military service will have all the privileges of those who serve under, contra uh, under contract, the Russian, uh, he added. During his speech, he ordered the equalization of the legal status of volunteers in the Russian-controlled areas of Ukraine with regular military personnel of the Russian Federation, essentially an absorption of Russian speakers in the Russian armed forces. He talked about the neo, and I'm not going to say the word, in Ukraine and claimed that NATO is conducting reconnaissance throughout southern Russia through its secret services. The West does not want peace between Ukraine and Russia, Putin said. The Russian president has announced that the Russian government will increase funds for arms production. In more detail, partial con uh, conscription in Russia was announced on Wednesday morning by, the country, by Putin in his speech that was expected from yesterday evening, but it got this, it was this morning. <clears throat> so he says that we will discuss the steps to be taken to protect our sovereignty and support the will and desire of citizens in Donbass to decide for themselves. As he said, Western countries are trying to block any possibility of independence and development. The West intention is to weaken and destroy us. They openly say that. He's absolutely right about that. That's exactly what uh, Biden is saying. Our main goal for the liberation of the people of Donbass remains unchanged, he emphasized, referring to the partial conscription decision which comes into effect today. He said it only affects those registered as reservists um, addressing those who enlist, he assured them that they will be given all the privileges. He also stressed he will use all available means if Russia's territorial integrity was threatened, adding, again, we're not bluffing. Yes to the referendums. At the same time, he declared that he supports the decision of the residents of regions controlled by Russia in Ukraine to proceed to referendums, as announced on Tuesday in Lugansk, Donetsk, Kurzhen, and Zaporozhye. The Russian president also threatened to use nuclear weapons, again, saying shortly before the end of his speech that those who threaten us meaning the U.S., with nuclear weapons should know that this threat can be turned against them. Citizens of the People's Republic of Donetsk and Lugansk, Kurzhen and Zaporozhye and other regions are free from the Nazi regime. We will talk about steps to protect our sovereignty, support the will and desire of our citizens to decide their own will. Now, I'm going to say something I, again, and I'm, I'm going to say this. Those regions were smart to go with them because he's about to do something. I told, I had said this months ago that he has not unleashed what he's about to do. I said it and God only knows what he's going to do right now. 
The Russian president noted that Western countries are trying to block him and so forth. Um, let me see what else I got. Um, now, this is that was off of war news. This is off of. Um, This came in off a Daily Mail. Uh, Putin's nuclear threat to the West. He warns Ukraine's allies he will use weapons of destruction and announces mobilization of 300,000 uh, troops. <coughs> Excuse me. He issued a chilling warning uh, to use to new threat to use nuclear weapons against the West over Ukraine. Um... This is basically saying uh, the same thing. Now, this right here, where is it? Hold on a minute. Right here. Um, this is talking about the stock market, and it's good to watch it today. Because they're saying that it might plummet. Uh, what else do I have? Here. Um. Yeah, Fox News was on also. And... Now, in, if anybody, um, is wondering, you know, how does this fit in to everything, to end times, and everything that's going on? Well, this, hmm, how can I say this? Ezekiel 38 talks about what's happening right now. So, with that being said, this is being set up. That war is not going to, to me, from what I'm reading, that war is not going to take place until the tribulation. During the tribulation period. With him saying what he's saying is also, to me, more confirmation that the church is about to be raptured at any time now. Um... This is an all-out. He's basically declaring an all-out war right now. And if the West, the U.S., Britain, whatever, if they try to stop this thing or try to stop him or try to continue to help Ukraine, he's going to go off. He's going to go off. I mean, he's not playing. Russia does what they say. And they keep, they hold their truth. They hold their promises. So for this administration to keep adding to the fuel to the fire, it's just asinine. It's just crazy. So um, I'm going to link this in the description box. I have, I'm sure this is going to probably be another one of those days where I do probably about, 3 videos a day. Now this is from uh Daily Mail this morning also. Terrified Russians race to flee the country in a bid to dodge Putin's army call up the one-way flight selling out and Google searches for how to leave surging. So this is what Hal Turner was saying on when I reported that yesterday that the, they're fleeing they're actually Russians were actually fleeing to Finland. So, uh, despite desperate Russians are frantically trying to flee the country after Putin announced a d dramatic mobilization in the biggest escalation of the Ukraine war since the invasion, he explicitly raised the specter of a nuclear conflict and called up 300,000 reservists. Now, let me stop right there and say this. You don't call up 300,000 reservists for just a partial war. 
This that's just that's BS. I'm sorry. You're not going to do that. Something is in the works here. So people are getting one way flights out of uh, Russia have skyrocketed and others have sold out as civilians scramble for a ticket to safety. That's why those four regions decided to go with them. So direct flights from Moscow to Istanbul to Turkey in Turkey and Yerevan in Armenia, both destinations that allow Russians to enter without a visa were sold out completely today, according to uh, data. Russia's most popular flights purchasing uh, website. People are getting out of Dodge. For real. Uh, some routes uh, with stopovers, including those from Moscow, were also unavailable. While the cheapest flights from the capital of Dubai were cost... Oh, wow. Were costing more than 300,000 rubles which is 4,500 in uh, European currency, about five times the average monthly wage. By noon, flights to Azerbaijan, uh, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan stopped appearing online amid the scramble. So people were leaving left and right. So I'm gonna link all this in the description box. I will be back later. Uh, with more um, and we'll see what happens but in the meantime uh, this is all again this is all setting up for that war that's going to happen uh, in that tribulation period which means the church is definitely on its way out soon I'll be back later thank you